Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of interpreting exponential functions. This is standard A.9b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 36 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an insect population, and its population can be modeled using that particular exponential function. So how do we interpret that? Well, exponential functions take this form right here. y equals a times b to the x power, and that's what we see here. So what does that a usually mean? Well, that's a constant. So we notice that it's not being changed in any way, right? It's something that is uh, just in this case being used as a coefficient to multiply by that b to the x power, but it's not changing. It's constant. So typically this is going to be your starting amount or your starting population. So we'll see this a lot in compound interest. We'll say you initially deposited $20, so that a would be 20. So this b in these situations is typically going to be your rate, right? You're going to multiply the constant by the rate of change. Now, here's the interesting thing. So let's say if you had a rate of, let's say it uh, increases by 50%, right? Every month or every year, it doesn't really matter. So if order to multiply that by the starting amount, we would need to change that into a decimal, right? So that's 0 0.5. But if we just multiplied that 0 0.5 times the starting amount, it would look like it's getting smaller. And really what we're just calculating is the percent increase, but then it, in order to get the new amount, you would need to add that original amount back in, or else it looks like it's getting smaller and smaller, when really it's increasing by 50%. So what we do here is we add 1 to the rate, we make it 1.5. So what this 1 does is this keeps the initial amount in place. Right, That initial amount is represented by that 1. That 0.5 is how much above the initial amount it's increasing. And so when you calculate that way, you don't have to add the initial amount back in. So that rate is typically going to be, uh, if it's greater than 1, that means it's increasing. But sometimes it's less than 1. That means you're actually decreasing, it's actually getting smaller, but it's going to be around 1. And then your x is just going to be your time period. So it's going to be by month, by year, whatever. And so let's see what we have here. We've got g of x equals 18, 1.3 to the x. Okay, so this 18 is going to be your starting population, dealing with insects here. So there were 18 insects, and it changed at a rate of, now here's our rate, but we have to kind of disassemble this rate a little bit. It's 1.3. Remember that 1.3 includes that 1 to keep the initial amount in there. So if we take that 1 away, it's 0 0.3. So it increases at a rate of 0 0.3, which most likely we need to turn that into a percent here, so that's 30 percent. So it in increases 30 percent each uh, after x months, so your x is going to be months. So it actually increases by 30 percent each month. And the reason we calculate with that 1 in there, instead of just 0.3, it's 1.3, so we get a new total every time we do 1 month, 2 months, 3 months, 4 months. So let's see what we have here. F, the insect Population increased by 13 or decreased by 13? Well, first off, okay, that's not a 13. That's a 1.3. Once we take that 3 out, it's 30%. So we're not dealing with 13. So those are just wrong. Now, look at H and J. It increased or decreased? Well, it increased at a rate of 30 because once we took the 1 away, it's still 30%. If you want to decrease at a rate of 30, this is what you do. You do your 1, and then you take away... 0 0.3, so you would end up with 0 0.7. So if you want to decrease, that's what you would get. Our answer is H.